Everybody ready? You good? No, not ready? Okay. Anybody not ready? Okay. All right. Uh, good morning. I'm uh, Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Gualtieri, and I'm here this morning uh, uh, with Patrick Henry from the United States Secret Service. And we're here to uh, talk about the Pinellas County uh, Forensic uh, Computer Forensic Lab this morning. There's no question that uh, we live in an era uh, of technology and that technology drives our daily lives. It also provides very crucial evidence in criminal investigations. So as we introduce the Tampa Bay Electronic Crimes Task Force, uh, which is the 40th United States Secret Service Electronic Crimes Task Force worldwide, um, it, we want to stress the importance of the work that's being done. We're going to give you an opportunity this morning to also uh, view the lab, uh, to see the lab, and to talk to some of the people in there uh, that are doing the work on a daily basis. Uh, this lab was approved by the Secret Service and the task force in June of 2015, and it is really now uh, up and running in full force and uh, is doing a lot of great work. I think that the importance of a lab like this, a computer forensics lab, uh, was heightened recently with what happened in San Bernardino, uh, the difficulty of dealing with some of the manufacturers, some of the equipment, and the whole issue which overarches our challenges every single day, which is what is called going dark, uh, which is where we are unable to access either live in real time or after the fact, getting into some of these devices uh, that people are using for criminal activity. And it's a real challenge for law enforcement going forward uh, that we're living in an era where people can communicate and people can store communications and we can't access those communications. But there are a lot of times where we can, and that's what the work uh, that is being done by the Electronic Crimes Task Force in this lab. So here in the Tampa Bay area, uh, this task force is comprised of uh, 16 federal, state, and local agencies with over 100 private sector partners. And while there are uh, 16 participating agencies in the task force, 10 agencies have a presence in the lab. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office has two detectives and an analyst assigned full-time to the lab. Uh, and of note is that in the entire system of these 40 task forces and labs uh, set up uh, through the Secret Service uh, worldwide, this is the first one that's housed outside of a federal facility. And so this is the first one that's housed uh, within a local law enforcement agency. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office was chosen <clears throat> as the host location due to our commitment and expertise in conducting digital forensics analysis and because we stay on the forefront of technology. This lab is the most advanced computer forensics lab in the state of Florida and offers technology and forensic capabilities even beyond that that is in the state labs. This is also the only lab in the country uh, in which the FBI has assigned a computer scientist as a member of the team. This lab is able to perform forensics exams on digital evidence such as computers, cell phones, tablets, gaming systems, hard drives, and other electronic devices that store data. Our lab has a very unique uh, capability to perform what's called chip-off forensics by re removing the memory chips from motherboards and other media. As it relates to cell phones, this would be accomplished when the screen is damaged, we are unable to power up the phone or when ports on the device are damaged and you could otherwise not access the data that's contained in the device. And this lab is only one of a couple in the state that has this technology. An example of where we use this technology was in the Roberta Cable case. And some of you may remember this. Uh, Roberta Cable is a woman that was uh, murdered uh, up off State Road 590 in Clearwater. And last year, uh, and many members of the media were out there when we conducted a search warrant of the suspect's uh, home. He has since passed away of natural causes. Uh, but we conducted a search there, and we were able to find her cell phone in a septic tank. Uh, and it had been in the septic tank for over a year. And it was through this chip-off technology that our computer forensics lab people here at the sheriff's office were able to obtain evidentiary images from the cell phone itself. So it's a real life example of how this technology is very beneficial 
and it's unique and how it has worked here to actually glean evidence in a homicide case here in Pinellas County. Since opening, the lab has received almost uh, 400 items for computer forensics analysis. So it's an active lab uh, with a lot of great work being done uh, by the partners. Uh, and again, the sponsorship of the Secret Service uh, is very important in this. And we're happy to take some questions now, uh, uh, and then we'll take you upstairs and let you see the lab and uh, tour it and, and ask any other questions you have. Does anybody have any questions at this point? Uh, 